everyone and welcome to Timeless Classics Tag. I was tagged by the lovely Carla and Cindy from Two Real Chicks. Thank you very much for always including me. This is the Timeless Classic Beauty Products Tag, but I've kind of put my own spin on it and added like cult beauty products um, and products that have been, that I've used for years sort of thing, because I don't have too many classics. Um, so I just put that little spin on it. So I will start with some of the classics, starting with number one, Elizabeth Arden Eight Hour Cream. This was originally created in the 1930s by Elizabeth Arden herself, and it was a balm to heal her horse's legs after they'd gone racing or they got bruises. So she'd created this balm for them that healed their legs in like their cuts and bruises in like eight hours. And she thought, this is miraculous. Let's make it into a product. And this has become a cult product and one is sold every 30 seconds. It is amazing. It's great for burns, for lips, for cuticles, for dry skin, for chapped skin. Absolutely amazing. We'll never be without something like this. Fantastic. Next up is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Again, Estee Lauder has been around since, again, the 1930s when they first came out with a couple of products in Saks Fifth Avenue and then now they are a global uh, beauty company. And Double Wear is one of the top most popular foundations in England. One is sold or, you know, it is like the number one foundation in England. Everyone has Double Wear. Most people love it and it is a, you know, classic really, really, isn't it? Um, with the gold top and the, the jar and it's just, I, I always have fond memories of Double Wear. I used Double Wear for years. I've always had one. I remember my um, um, colleague, she used to wear it and um, whenever our boss was coming in, she'd sort of not wear makeup that day and then the boss would be coming in and she'd quickly slap on the Double Wear. And I, and I remember thinking, oh, what's that, you know? Um, so it is just, yes, a cult beauty product. Next we have Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is over 35 years old. Yes, it's been around for a long, long time. It's created by Leslie Blodgett. When she first worked in a spa salon, she found some pigments, put them together and sort of created Bare Minerals. I think it was called uh, Bare Essentials, ID Essentials at the time. And yes, it's now a cult following and it's one of the number one mineral makeup brands in America, I think, and in the UK. And it was revolutionary because it was one of the first mineral products. It was the first good for you ingredients when there wasn't such a thing around. So it gained a huge cult following and Leslie created such a beautiful community that's still going on today. So I really, really love Bare Minerals. I have such a sentimental value, to, you know, feeling to it as well. So it is something I just cherish um, and I'll always have. And I remember there weren't even any counters 10 years ago. There wasn't, there was no, because I used to work in Harvey Nichols. I worked on the Lancome counter in Harvey Nichols. There was no such thing as Bare Minerals counters or boutiques. Like the, it was solely sold in like spas and esthetician offices and salons. You wouldn't get it anywhere. So it's like now it's everywhere. It's unbelievable. So amazing, amazing. Then we have um, Mac Studio Fix powder. This is, I mean, I feel like Mac is just. There are some real old school products in Mac, and Studio Fix is one of them. This powder foundation was huge back in the day. Everybody had it. It is one of the best powder foundations I have ever tried because it is full coverage. Like it's, you don't have to build it up. You don't have to buff it in. You just swipe it on and go. It's a really, really good powder. So that is, um, yeah, one that's been in my makeup bag for centuries. Another MAC product is MAC Fix Plus. This again has been around for eons if that's a word um i have purchased countless bottles of this it is just there is nothing like it i mean you can get all your other setting sprays and i love my urban decay all nighter but there's something about this the smell it's just so it takes you back and it just does something to skin and your makeup that's amazing and nothing else can 
can come close. So that's why I always, always have one of these. Okay, then I have a powder, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is a major cult product because it is loved by makeup artists all over the world and it is one of the best translucent powders out there. It's always raved about um, and yeah, I remember it years ago as well. They used to be, a, um, you'd get the artists come in and they'd use this big puff to um, press it into the skin. It's a really beautiful powder. It's got this lovely flesh colour and it really sets makeup beautifully. So that's one of those and it will, all, it will continue to be. These things will always continue to be. Next up, I have a foundation. This is Gerda Spillman Biofond. Now, Gerda Spillman, this foundation has been used by makeup artists for over 40 years on celebrities in films. It's 100% pharmaceutical grade ingredients. It is HD, it, it's Swiss formulated, and it's basically what they use on movie sets in Hollywood, on TV. This is the foundation that they use. It is incredible. I first discovered this foundation, I think, my God, it must be like five years ago now. Um, Brianna Stanko first spoke about this. And I remember watching her put this on thinking, I need that foundation and I need it right now. And I couldn't get it here in, U in the UK. It's a Swiss brand. But there isn't, there isn't a website for it. There's a European website, but you can't buy it and ship it. It's really bizarre. And then you've got the American website. And I actually emailed uh, one of the directors uh, of Gerda Spillman and I said, listen, I really, really want to try this foundation. Please, is there any way you can ship this to me? How can I get it? What, what do I do? And he was so kind. He sent me, he said, what colours do you think you'd be? And I was like, I'm not sure. I'm between Praline and uh, Bijou. He sent me two small samples, he sent me two thingies, not the big red one, the small one, of my two colours and the Hydra Pearls, and I was over the moon. And let me tell you, if you've watched my videos in the past, I have gone through tubs of those little ones. Let me show you these ones here. You will know, so these are the small size, these are like the European sizes. Um, and this is the one you get in the States. So it, it just looks like this. So it's quite tiny. But I went through about three of these. Three of these, okay? And then I had to bite the bullet and pay, I think, $56 for this full size one and have it shipped to the UK. And I had to pay extortionate amounts. I mean, it's Swiss. I'm Swiss. You should th you'd think I'd be able to get hold of this, for goodness sake. But you can't get the big red one for some reason in Europe. I don't know what it is. Really hard to get. But anyway, this has been used for decades. Yeah, it's a Hollywood secret. And I'm wearing it today. It is incredible. I mean, not only is it mineral-based, but it's actually a good skin foundation. Well, yeah, it's mineral-based. But it looks like skin and that's why it's used and that's why it's created for TV because it's it, it's undetectable, it looks like skin and it heals post-procedures and stuff like that. Incredible! <sighs> Getting too excited. Okay, then the last, oh no, I've got a couple more things. Blush, Nars Orgasm, Cult, Cult, Cult. This has been around for a hundred million billion years. It will always be probably their number one blush everyone's number one blush who I think Drake sung about it in one of his song uh Chanel lip gloss Nars orgasm blush you know like everybody knows it you know it is a beautiful blush it suits everybody all skin tones it's like the perfect peachy pink with a bit of shimmer you don't even need highlight with it this is normally something I wear in the summer because it's just so versatile a gorgeous um blush and everyone always had this you know then of course, eye palettes, Naked. This was the, f the first ever one to be launched at the Naked Palettes. I bought this about 10 years ago. This was my first ever high-end palette that I bought. I think it was my first month working at Lancome um, and I went into Boots and I saw it and I was like, oh, 
and I bought it and I was just so happy and you know it is it is a fantastic palette and I think everybody will always love the naked palette cult and then the last thing which is a beauty product which I just have to mention is the GHDs these are everybody back in the day had a pair of GHDs if you could afford it um, they are the number one straighteners like everybody knows that the GHDs are the best because they've got special ceramic plates and a special technology that does not burn your hair so you can have a really high heat but it never damages your hair and they are just so sleek and I remember I got these for my birthday I think it was my 28th birthday my boyfriend got them from for my birthday and I was like oh my god wow because they're so sleek um, and they've got this little twizzly thing and they are just the best things ever GHG is like the ones when it comes to hair I mean you can curl with this you know albeit I don't know how to do that I've tried to do that today again it didn't work so I managed to do one side which I couldn't do last time and then I was like I forgot how to do how I did the other side so I'm a maniac but anyway I tried so yes those are my cult beauty products I think they are cult beauty products for a lot of you out there as well. Let me know what are yours. Have I missed anything out? These are just the ones that I have and I always repurchase or have used for years. So thank you very much for tagging me, ladies. I tag you all. So whoever wants to do this, please do it. Um, I shall list some names below if I can think of someone, somebody off the top of my head. Um, and I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.